everybody, it's Conrad here from birdagardener.com. Uh, just wanted to show you, we have a very loud uh, crow watching today. Um, just wanted to show you where I planted the goji berries. And uh, some of them are looking a little sad. It hasn't rained here in a while. And so my rain barrels are... <laughs> darn crow. Anyway, uh, my rain barrels are pretty empty right now. So I've only been watering these every second day. But I am going to... We come over here. Let's see. Yeah, I got some weeding to do and stuff. But we can see over here, I got all those leaves there. And I am going to um, mulch over there with leaves today. We got onions planted under there. They have to be covered because last year we had a <laughs> crow. He just, he just won't be caught. He's, I've been trying for a half hour. And uh, he just won't shut up. So it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, so the onions are under there because we get, uh, last year we had maggots. You know, so if they're covered, the flies can't get at them. Same reason I cover the cabbage, but that's from the white cabbage butterfly. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. Apparently, we have a second raspberry patch. I knew that was going to happen because I had to clean them out of there first, and I still have some in there to clean out. But uh, I planted those ones out of that first one, and I planted those little ones over there that I hope you can see. There's uh, peonies are doing, they're going crazy. Um, but yeah, eventually I want to have a line all the way down to, uh, I don't think the curb, but at least to that power pole. And then over here, we'd have it just to probably where those pallets end. And I'd like to have two rows. So that's why these are still allowed to grow and I haven't planted anything in there. Not going to plant anything in there t this year, in this one here. Uh, that's just, I'm just letting those leaves compost down. And today I'm going to plant some peas to climb up those, um, uh, the stalks there of the sunflowers by the shed and there's also some sunflowers coming up in there and a oh i just caught myself on a... <laughs> that thing's got a sharp edge on it. i didn't know how to bend that in but uh uh there's a celery here that came up actually after the, I, I planted last year anna from northern homestead gave it to me and it uh I didn't plant it. I planted it too late, just like everything else. And, uh, so it didn't really grow last year, but it came back. So that's kind of cool. There's a tiny Tim tomato. I put in a hanging planter. I got two more there. A basil. These are all those seedlings from before. And this, this is the ugliest tomato, except for the ones out front that I think are dying. Uh, they might have actually got frost. We've been having frost warnings lately. Uh, another tiny Tim. Another tiny Tim there. Uh, another one there. We're getting rid of one of these to a friend, but the rest were, uh, the rest were keeping. But I do have an update on some sugar. I got some sugar baby watermelons here, and that's what that is too. And then, uh, you know, straight A cucumbers here, and over here, uh, Minnesota midget cantaloupe in this one. These are butternut squash, and there's that lemon tree. It's, it's still not ready to be planted up yet. And here's another sad looking tomato, but these will go out. Probably later today, actually. Just because those ones out front, I'm pretty sure they're dying. So I'll replace them. Here are the white alpine strawberries. Let's see if we got one here that we can show off. I don't think any are ready. I had one. Oh, here's one. Oh, where did I go? Let's see if I can get that one. There we go. That one's ready. I'll pick that a little later. No, that's what they look like. They're supposed to, according to picture on ebay and there's some more than there uh they're supposed to get red seeds on them but they never do they just turn like that and then they're delicious they taste kind of like pineapple which is what this is a friend of mine gave me a pineapple plant so thanks for that christina that was awesome looks like it's doing good i can't remember what it looked like but i'm pretty sure this leaf is new uh i planted zucchini in there i know it's kind of a small planter for zucchini but uh i don't we don't need a lot so i didn't want to put it in a really big pot and get a whole bunch and this is a lemon balm i bought from canadian tire because mine never sprouted twice trying this year and i really like tea out of it so i bought some these goji berries will have a place by the end of the weekend on the other side of the trailer uh and here's a jalapeno it's doing great again leaf mulch i got plenty of leaves i got a bunch in the fall from a lady uh, the peas are doing good. They're about waist height, a little higher. 
Um, what else we got? Jalapenos in here, they only get water every second day if you wonder why they're dry. Because the leaves are turning black and I think that means they're bad. Or <laughs> whatever. Uh, this guy here, he needs to be staked. He'll be staked up here. Um, that one, I'll probably tie it up today too. And I have right here two rows of carrots. And they go, the second row goes all the way down to the end. The first row is where this row is. But they stop right here. Because this whole section, you see this whole wet section here, right in there, is, uh, uh, what is it? Gladiolas. So I'm hoping to get a whole bunch of them this year. We'll see. One of the big, uh, one of the big ones had mold all over it. I don't know if it's going to grow. But there's a lot of little ones in there. And there's a couple other big ones. So this, I think, oh yeah, and I got some more beans coming up here. Uh, so they'll, they'll come up. There should be a couple more in, in there somewhere too. And then my greenhouse cucumbers are doing good. And that is it. Um, this is the last seedling update. The next stuff will be just, I mean, I guess I could do garden, a garden update at some point. I'm still not done planting. I have to put carrots around the corner today, but I guess this was kind of a garden update anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys get on with your day. Have a good one and keep on gardening. So uh, I guess you can't quite get on with your day yet. Um, these right here are wild strawberries. They've been growing in our yard for years. And it wasn't until yesterday, actually last night when I was watching a video from Stephen from Alberta Urban Garden, that I thought they could be used as a ground cover. And that is actually in the goji berries, which I don't know if you can see. It's pretty sunny out there today. Uh, I'm going to plant in, not these ones, but I'm going to plant in on my other strawberry patch. My little, uh, you can see it through the door there uh, by the chair, the little white one. They're getting runners already, so I'm going to take some solo cups, which I have a lot of. i got to wash them out. Oh, I'll turn off this fan. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to root up some of the runners. And I'm gonna put them over there in so they'll be they'll act as a ground cover for the goji berries. But they're still going to get uh they're still gonna get leaf mulch as well. I'll just plant the strawberries inside the leaf mulch. So that'll that should work nice. Keep the maybe weeds down there. <laughs> I can hear Blitz barking. There was another dog barking, so now she's inside going crazy. But uh yeah, in this area here still wasted except for I put some potatoes over there which are I just noticed this morning uh, finally coming up right there he is and in this one I also have I don't know if you can see anything in there I can't really see the screen because it's too bright out here but uh, this one here is going to once these potatoes come up I'm actually going to plant some more right on the top here and then fill it with this dirt over here and uh, that's going to get me more potatoes per thing because I know I know people think that you can just bury the potato stalks, but that's not true. That doesn't work. I've tried it before, and burying the stalks doesn't or the stems doesn't ever give me more potatoes. I tried it I think last year, and I got the exact same amount of potatoes when I buried the stalk and when I didn't. So. I'm just not going to do it anymore. I'm going to do it this way so I can maximize my space. And that'll be, that'll be that. Oh, and I forgot. I moved some chives over here. So in the spring, there will be bees uh, over in this area. Because we always have them up front at the cherry tree. But never over here in the early, early spring. So that's what these chives are for. And because the greenhouse door is almost always open. At least for now. By next year, maybe not. So once I get the frame on, I'm going to put in an automatic fan. And uh, that should keep things more cool, especially in the spring. But uh, that's, that's really it. Oh, and here's another little seedling update. I got, never thought of that. I got, uh, that's what I cut my leg on earlier. Uh, I actually cut my leg. I'm bleeding a little bit right now, but it's no big deal. Don't worry. <laughs> um, uh, I got, this is uh, spearmint right here. And here is a lemon balm, which keeps falling over, so I had to stake it. And then those chives lived from last year. So that's a couple other seedlings. 
and that is about it. I'll give you another view of the we got kale, cabbage, some volunteer onions, some raspberry shoots that will be pulled out today. I'm not letting them get big like last year because that's what that's how this got wrecked. The raspberries grew up and through. I gotta replace this with some better stuff. I got actually I'll show you what I'm gonna replace it with. I got this stuff here. It's uh it's small enough that they can't get through the white butterflies, but it's big enough that I don't know. You can't really see it from far away. This stuff you can see, and I don't mind it, but it's really cheap. I got it at the dollar store for a buck for, well, that's, I think that's three of them stitched together with fishing wire. And uh, I got it. I got all of them for $3, I think. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, they, they worked last season, and they'd work this season if they weren't damaged. But once they get a little damaged, they're, they're screwed, and they just keep falling apart. But that is it for real this time, and uh, I will see you next time. Keep on gardening. Mm -hmm.